Okay, I plan to finish up graphing tomorrow. Uh, and then we're going to go on to uh, numbers. <laughs> Our fundamental counting theorem is actually what it's called. And it leads us into probability, and then that's it for the year. So not a whole lot left, my students. Plan to have a test on Thursday, and it will be graphing in degrees, uh, working with radians. I might have a question or two on changing from radians to degrees, to degrees to radians, and then graphing in radians. So it'll be a little bit longer than what we've had in the past, but the plan is to do that Thursday. But we'll talk more about that on Wednesday. But anyways, let's look at this. I'm wanting to graph one period. Now remember, this goes on for infinity, sine and cosine. Um, so uh, we just draw one section because it keeps repeating itself. Now, you should have memorized, I hope, that we go uh, pi over 2... And then pi should be 3 of your whatever you make your 1. So this is a little bit too long, but we'll go with it. 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi is your basic x-axis graph for radians. But notice the actual graph for degrees and radians is the same. The only thing that changes is your um, x-axis. So sine, the basic sine is always 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. And then I'm just going to dash. There, we just dash it. Now, this is called a shift. We're shifting it either up or we're shifting it down. So we did this with degrees. I'm adding 3 to it, so I'm going to shift the whole thing up 3. So it should look exactly the same, just up above. So uno, dos, tres, eins, five, dra. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh. So we, oops, we. So it should look exactly the same. I just shifted the whole thing up. Now in normal years, we would have three, four different changes in one graph, and you'd have to move it this way, move it that way, and move it that way, and move it this way, and move it uh, this way. We hee, or move it this way, or squish it this way, or squish it that way. But since we're doing this at home this year, it's pretty much all we could do. So right now, I want you to try to graph this on your own. Then turn me back on. Okay, so we got the one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I like to draw the basic graph. I'm making, oh, I just got that on my shirt. Oh my goodness. So uh, pi over two, pi, mm, pi. Excuse me. <laughs> Comes <laughs> you. A little coffee. Okay. So the basic cosine is 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. So you should have this memorized. Now, normally I make kids memorize it, and I have pop quizzes every day. Draw the two basic graphs, sine and cosine. But you can keep both of them close by your sheet. Now, you could say, Mr. Murphy, I'll just keep all the homework advice and then look at the... Co well, you know, then what next year and the year after when you use it again and in calculus, you'll just start dying. I have five kids uh, from previous... that just could not handle AP Calculus. And I kind of thought they cheated. And they got their low Bs and cheated. And then uh-oh in geometry. And then barely made it through. And then just suffer. Learn it. Anyways. Negative 2 plus. This is positive. So this is this. And then negative 2 means move everything down too. So 1, 2. 1, 2. Now technically you're not supposed to have these marks. I don't care. 
but technically you're not supposed to. But what are you going to do? Let's see. One, two. There we go. And then one, two. So, whoa. Oh, my goodness. I'm making mess. There we go. So, it should look about the same. You shouldn't have, like, whoa. Because that doesn't look like the original one. Although, woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Okay, you have homework to turn in for me, kids. And it's going to be due Tuesday night. Tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Unless you email me with some crazy thing. If you don't have it by 8, it's a 0. Because I'm giving you till tomorrow. It's these 8 problems. Graph 1 period in degrees of these 4. And graph... One period of these. Now, this one's tricky. Oh, it's 2 pi x. Oh, my goodness, is this one tricky. Uh, but graph one period of each in radians. Now, of course, my uh, uh, high school kids, I'll be putting this on Schoology in about five minutes. But this is due by tomorrow night. I'm giving you till Tuesday night, May 12th by 8 p.m. And then Wednesday, I'll actually go over them on the uh, video. So those... And those eight problems. Now I'm giving you two days, so I don't want to hear what. Stop whining. Stop whining. Or should I say stop crushing those grapes? Ah, ha, ha, ha. see, crush grapes, whine. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that was dumb. Sorry. But so eight problems. I just want to see if you're kind of doing. But I'll have the answers Wednesday. We'll finish graphing tomorrow. And then you're going to need a calculator that has an exclamation point on it. So anyways, hopefully we'll finish this tomorrow. Have a good day.